All right, now on, <clears throat> on this problem, um, basically, I think a lot of students, once we get to the fourth root, square roots and cube roots, uh, I like using this way. But when you guys are doing, uh, no, move, it, move into, um, you're behind Jeremy, over there, one of those seats so you can find that. So a lot of the important things to do, guys, when you're doing these factorization is I like actually using the factorization for these problems so that we can see what exactly, how are we going to take the fourth root of these? So 81, I can break up into 9 times 9, 3 times 3, and 3 times 3. So 32, I can break up into 8 times 4, um, 4 times 2, 2 times 2, and 2 times 2. So what I notice is the factorization of 81 is really 3 multiplied by itself 4 times. And the factorization of 32 is 4 multiplied by itself five times. All right? Um, so I can rewrite, I can simplify each one of those. Or, yeah. okay. So does everybody have those? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the factorization here. The fourth root of 81 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now I'm going to write out the factorization out. But I don't, do you guys see how long this can be if I'm going to be writing x multiplied by itself five times, y multiplied by itself four times, right? That can be pretty cumbersome, right? So rather than doing the prime factorization for the x's and the y's, I'm just going to rewrite them to the power that I can take the root of. So x to what power can I take um, the root of or the fourth root to? Four, right? So I'm going to want to rewrite this as x to the fourth. But if this is x to the fourth, I need to make sure it's still x to the fifth in the inside. So I need to multiply it by x. Then I have y to the fourth is left in there times. I'll write the factorization of 32, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then here, I can't really write anything out to simplify it. So as you guys remember, if you, do, if you like using factorization, well, I have four of them. Here I have four of them. So the fourth root of 3 times 3 times 3 is 3. The fourth root of x to the fourth is x. The fourth root of y to the fourth is y. So I'm left with x in the inside, right? Now, let's go over here. The fourth root of 2 times 2 times 2 is 2. And then I have the fourth root of 2x cubed y. Does everybody see how I simplified them? It's just basically two separate problems. That's all you guys are doing. It's just two separate problems. Now we multiply. And again, what we talked about, that rule A and B, is you multiply what's inside the radicals, which is your radicands, and then you multiply what's outside. So therefore, I have 6xy times the fourth root of 2x to the fourth y. Now, is there anything I can take the fourth root of in there? The x, right? So it's going to be 6xy times x, fourth root of 2y. I can multiply the x's, which gives me 6x squared y times the fourth root of 2y. I broke this up step by step. If you have a question on a certain step or you'd like further clarification,